What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. So for today's installation, this is very, very simple, very affordable too, and it's something that Toyota should install on their GR86. This is also true for Subaru and the FRS as well, but Toyota, the rest of those companies still include the prop rod for the hood on this vehicle. Now I'm not sure if it's on the opposite side on some of the older models, but this is the prop rod over on the passenger side holding the hood up at the moment. This is something that is a little bit inconvenient. It's hard to do one-handed. You have to make sure you have the hood up in order to uh, prop that up. And if you have the hood open, maybe you're at a car show or something, there's no resistance to keep this hood from not moving. So if I kind of let that fall right now, maybe I'll take it out first. So if I take this out and kind of get it out of the way, which again, hard with one hand, right? But there's nothing keeping this from going all the way back and i have seen that at car shows where hoods have flown up because of that prop rod it's ineffective for manufacturers to do but it is not cool when you have this much movability in your hood and right now i can't even put it back up because i'd have to grab my other hand to get that prop rod so we are installing hood struts for the 86 and again you can fit these to the frs or the brz2 so this is the kit that i have this is how simple it is to install. I have a 10 millimeter and I have more of the shallow socket here. You'll see why that is important in just a little bit. But we have two brackets and then of course the hood struts here. I decided to go with the gloss black option. You can also go with carbon fiber too. I will have both of these down in the description. So it just depends on which one you are going to like more. And so very simple installation. Well, let's go ahead and pop this back up. And one thing that I also wanna talk about too is the fact that with my aftermarket intake, this prop rod actually sits pretty nicely, but it does take a little bit of time to wiggle it around. Now, of course, that's an aftermarket intake and not the stock one. So with the stock one, that's obviously not a problem, but you're gonna be modifying this car. This isn't something that I hope if you're buying, you're probably gonna throw some mods on it, maybe do an intake like this. And the prop rod fits just fine, but it is a little bit of a hassle trying to pop it in just to get it to fit there. So as we get it back out, we can pop it up here. And now for this kit, we're going to start off on the passenger side. So we have two brackets here. We have four in total, of course, but you are going to take both of the ones labeled R for the passenger side. Initially, I thought that was L because you're looking at the car, that's your left side. Uh, but this is the right side of the vehicle on the passenger side. And then we have the strut, which we will add later. So moving on to the top one here, there's actually an adhesive backing on it. And that adhesive backing is going to go right here. So underneath the hood, there are two bolts that attach this bracket to the actual hood. And we are going to be using the top bolt there. With that 10 millimeter, I can put it on the right way there and start to loosen it. These aren't really on there that tight, so it is pretty easy to take them off. And with that off, we are going to peel off this backing now for the adhesive. So once this is off, you want this ball portion to face the outside of the vehicle. So I'm going to put that on, kind of lightly push the top of it. It'll hold much tighter once we have this bolt or nut back in place. Just nice and snug. All right, and so that is the top section. Now for this bottom section, You'll notice that the bracket here that we're on, so this one here, there's two bolts that look virtually identical to the two up here. So we are going to be using the one closest to the front of the car, and this is where having a thin socket comes into play. I had another one that was just too tall, so if you have one like this, that is going to work much better. And you can actually reach right underneath it there and start to loosen it. And with the bottom piece now, again, we have the R. This is going to sit on the bolt just like this. So you want, now you want this ball portion to face inside the car. So it's facing inside. Both of these can line up for that strut to be attached. So with that orientation, it'll actually sit too, right on the inside edge of this metal lip down below. With the brackets in place, it's now time to install the actual strut assembly. Doesn't matter if you start top or bottom, However, I'm going to start on the bottom because that way I have some wiggle room with the hood to line up the upper one. And then I'm going to have the silver portion at the bottom. So just by clamping on just like that, 
we will have to wiggle the hood. So this is where if I take the hood strut out, I can wiggle this up just a little bit higher, get that in place. And I am just going to rest it on the hood strut itself because we don't have the other side and one of these cannot support the weight of the entire hood. So it really doesn't matter which side you start on either, but I will be removing that last just so we have them, uh, just an extra safety precaution too. As we jump over to the driver's side right now, I am going to set up my timer here. It's just the same, of course, as the other side, but I just wanna have some fun with this, show you guys how quickly this can be done. Comment down below, how long do you think? I'm going to guess maybe five minutes, somewhere around there. So with my tools, everything laid out, here we go. All right, that is one bracket installed in less than a minute. Let's see, this one's a little bit trickier. Not as much room to wiggle here. the last minute can I beat five minutes this one definitely takes longer to install on the bottom there but that is it and aside from having to twist this just a little bit and then I have to reach around for the hood so maybe maybe do this side first but other than that we'll get that popped on, whoo, 4.30. And before we close the hood for the first time, we need to figure out how to wiggle this out. And it's really just like you're rotating a rotisserie kind of, you just wiggles in there with the lines and the curves of it. And uh, just like that, I can easily get it back in. So you just have to kind of spin it until it follows the, uh, the shape of it and you can pull that right out. So it is time for the first closing of this hood now. Everything should line up and be good. Now over time we closed it, went around, popped it, and from there, I can open it up with one hand. Those just need a little bit of time to get worked in, but it's nice that you can even close the hood halfway for whatever reason. A lot of people put signs up and things for you know horsepower, cars and coffee, things like that if you have events. But now when it goes all the way up, if you remember earlier, it went another two, well maybe another foot backwards or farther open. So now we have a more structural hood support for the car. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's installation. Super easy, super inexpensive mod to do and it just makes it that much more convenient, especially if you're going under your car all the time. If you're working on it like I do, having that prop rod in the way is just something to finagle around. But if you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. I will have both of these designs, the black and the carbon fiber, linked down in the description so you can pick one up for your car. And again, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.